Welcome back to the Guitar Temple. You're most welcome to today's talk. Not out of Arizona today, it is Arkansas. But what I'm doing is I'm having my tour bus. The rig brought up the factory specifications. Always have 100% appreciated value for your dollar. Make it clean, clear, crisp, and happy. Anyways, today let's discuss White Snakes, guitarists. Now, there's got to be a lot of politics in this band. It just has to be. There are just too many guitar players that have come and gone. By the way, like, subscribe, comment. So tell me which guitar player you like best. Let me know where you're from. Where? Okay? And uh, don't forget to tell a friend. They're your friends. They're your friends. Tell a friend of the Guitar Temple. And if you wish to donate to the Temple, the link is below in the description. Now, let's take a look at White Snake's guitarists.
And I have some friends at a smaller company called Atomic Guitar Works. They're very ambitious guys, um, and they made me this with, uh, for the Purple Tour last year. These are all Swarovski crystals, hand laid one by one by Harry Howard. Um, enormous patience on that fine gentleman. Uh, once again, the pickups are uh, Doug Aldrich pickups from Sir, um, courtesy of Doug. He helped me out with that. And basically the inlays are all just astrological signs that have importance in my life. Um, you know, my, my sign and my kids' signs and whatnot. And, um, so anyway, just uh, not that I'm really big into astrology or anything, I'm not at all, but um, I thought it was kind of cool. Made for a, something interesting and a good story and something personal with, um, with the guitar. Uh, I did think when I got this, I thought, man, this is an amazing looking guitar, but to play that a whole show or a bunch of songs is yeah, going to be yeah. just over the top. So I've really just grabbed this guitar for my individual, my, my real solo on stage during the show. Um, because I, I always flash back to when I saw Dio as a kid and... Um, seventh row Vivian Campbell played the guitar with the neon outline on it that lit up and I was as a kid I just thought that was cool and I guess in a way this guitar became that for me just like kind of equally a showpiece as well as well as a, a really nice sounding guitar it really does sound great so um, I don't feel like I'm compromising in that department when I when I go to play it um, He's got those interesting hip shot tuners that he makes, and people might wonder what this is. I do a lot of tapping at the very end of my solo, and I'm just using the hair tie to... Um, I don't like to do that normally, but we're really loud in Whitesnake <laughs> with a lot of gain. So it can the low E can start taking off in the A sometimes, so I've uh, fallen back on this crutch. <laughs>
Please welcome Mickey Moody.
big news about it, sonically at least, is the addition of former David Lee Roth guitarist Steve Vai to the White Snake lineup. He played on the record, he'll be on stage with the group when it launches a world tour here in the States in February, and he was also on hand when we talked to White Snake recently. Ace guitarist Vivian Campbell was out, and another guitar great Steve Vai was in, fresh from a stint with David Lee Roth's band. I'm going to make this clear. I've, I've read a couple of interviews of people who said, oh, uh, I was asked to join White Snake. Nobody was approached to join White Snake. Steve Vai was the only one. He was the best. That's what we wanted, and we got him. About five or six days after my parting with Roth, a phone call came in from the White Snake camp. And I wasn't quite sure at first. I didn't want to jump right into another situation right away. I had just worked two and a half solid years without a break, basically. And uh, I wanted to take a little time off and put out the solo album and let it just, you know, do its little thing. But Vi was won over. When David Coverdale gave him a taste of the songs he'd be playing. Challenging new material written by Coverdale and Whitesnake's second guitarist, Adrian Vandenberg. He's the only guy that I can picture right now. That, and, and then, too, that um, I wouldn't have to worry about uh, finishing the guitar part or actually doing the guitar part because, uh, you know, Jimi Hendrix wasn't available uh, at the time, and uh, he was the only other guy that I could have pictured. I listened to the previous White Snake album, and uh, very guitar heavy. And it just, you know, it, it's an ideal gig for a guitar player. their time. 
bringing my rig up to factory specifications. But it's okay. It'll be all spick and span after it's done. Hopefully you liked the video. I'm glad you're here. Pretty impressive the how many bands that these guys play for. Trans-Siberian Orchestra, Cher, Thin Lizzy, Blue Oyster Cult, Dio, Def Leppard. They played for all these bands and Whitesnake. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. And don't forget to join us oh. here at the Guitar Temple. Don't forget you can donate below. It's all right. It's all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can donate below uh, in the description area. Like. Subscribe, tell a friend, donate, don't forget to leave a comment, and hope to see you again soon here at the Guitar Temple.